Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm here with Leo's reading for the month of November. So if you have any Leo placements in your chart, this message is for you. Happy belated Halloween. I was in my fairy costume yesterday. I'm not. I'm wearing some flowers in my head right now because it's the 1st of November and this is for, your reading is for November, Leo. Sorry I wasn't here last month. I had a lot of career changes making different decisions. I've been working on my Etsy shop that's doing very well. If you want to look at that, it's called Abundantly Spiritual. You get personal tarot reads, personal psychic readings. You also get candle magic work with different herbs and oils and things that I use on them. And we work on finding growth in success, money, and in love, okay? Or even in keeping negative people away. Because sometimes that happens, bringing in peace and keeping negative people away, okay? So um, let's focus on your overall energy, Leo, for the month of November. It is the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is like the truth coming out. Something being made known, something being worked out, something being made known. Sometimes it works to your benefit, sometimes it may not. But this is a truth coming out and something that needed to be made, made known in order for you to move forward, okay? If there's a truth coming out, I feel like it's going to be in better light. It's going to be for you. It's going to be in better perspective and you're going to be moving forward, okay? So a truth, a truth, what truth may come. Um, then we have the six of... Cups in the upright. This is reminiscing about the past, or maybe the past is reminiscing about you, Leo. I don't know. But I, there's some reminiscence of the past here. There's something in the past that you were feeling stuck, or maybe you are stuck in thinking about, but I don't think it's really in your mind or in your head. But maybe this person in your past is thinking about you. We have the Eight of Swords in reverse. You're no longer in your head about this. So you're no longer stuck in it and you're no longer thinking about it. And it's not no longer affecting you. And it's like no longer affecting the other person, whatever happened in your past between each other. Okay. We get the Eight of Wands, fiery, passionate energy. This could be fiery, passionate energy of love. This could be fiery, passionate energy of arguments, fiery, passionate energy of indecisiveness. You know, and when it's wands, it's just fiery energy coming in. And sometimes fire burns, right? It could be problematic. It depends what comes after, okay? We have the two of swords in reverse. Something here is not being cut off or someone here is not being cut off or something is renewing itself. Sometimes when the two of swords comes in in reverse, this is the scissor, means something may be in renewal, okay? I see a love offer being made here. Maybe from the person in the past to you. Maybe there's a love offer being made to you. Or maybe you're making that love offer to the person. You're deciding to head in this direction. Or they're deciding to head in this direction. Because it feels more passionate for them. It feels um, the right place for them to go. I see the page of wands here. The page of wands again is the player of the zodiac. But it could also just mean that someone is really attractive and passionate and hoping to head your way or you're hoping to head their way. And it, it could be someone that you know, you know, because we always know multiple people we have met in the past. And sometimes they come up again in our present moment or in our future. Okay. We have the six. No, lie here. Is this the six of pentacles? It could be the six of pentacles, but it could be the nine. I always get these confused. But anyway, it's pentacle energy. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, we have the six of pentacles here. The six of pentacles is needing to balance the situation out, making sure you're, you're keeping a balanced situation with this um, relationship or this commitment coming into you or this passionate energy coming to you. You're going to you're gonna be balanced, more balanced with it, and they're going to be more balanced with you, Okay. So we see a lot of passion and energy coming in, in this thing. The Nine of Pentacles, wait a minute, I'm getting confused. Okay, let's look at it very carefully. So this is the Six of Cups, and this is the Nine of Pentacles. So yeah, you're going to be feeling more balanced in this situation. This is the Nine of Pentacles. I always get confused when I look at these Six and Nine because they look so weird. You can really confuse them. Anyhow, how? this is the Nine of Pentacles. There will be balance in this situation. You're going to feel more balance here with this you're going to feel like whoever's coming in it's going to make you feel like it's a good commitment or something that you're going to feel balanced in okay so yes yes you're going to be independent still and yes you're going to need to make a choice because this is a passionate you know 
someone passionately coming towards you or you going passionately to another person. I see the Ace of Wands. The One of Wands comes up and that means a lot of passion and energy here, a lot of passion, a lot of love. Not necessarily love, but passion. It could be a lot of mutual attraction, sexual attraction. Because when you get all these passion cards, sexual attraction is here, okay? I know a lot of people be like, what? No, well, yes, there's an, an attractionness to it. And it's not just, you know, it's not love. It's passionate, okay? So some passionate attraction here and someone in your past who's coming in or making that offer. And the truths are going to be known. And the eight, you're going to be like the... Ace of Swords, you know, deciding, yeah, I'm heading in that direction. I'm going, I'm going for that. So this is a yes card. So I feel like, well, whoever's coming in from your past, whoever's going to make an offer, you're going to take this offer and you're going to go with it, okay? So that was your overall energy, Leo, for the month of November. Now, listen, listen to your fairy cards. Your fairy card says there's a structure here that is going to be rebuilt or building on. You're going to be building on this structure. It's going to seem like it's going to be hard or... It's going to seem like it's something difficult, but I feel like it's something to do with your past. And I feel like it's something that you need to rebuild or you're going to be rebuilding, okay? We have the two of clove here or the two of diamonds. Just looking like there's a lucky break or something that comes in, a wish fulfillment of some kind, okay? The coffin is here. So there's a revival of something, a revival of a past energy coming in because there's a lot of passion here, Okay. There is a gift coming in or flowers or growth or something of that sort, but you're going to be, you're going to be grateful for it. You're going to have a lot of gratitude and so are they in, re in, in regards to this situation. Okay. Um, for your Oracle card, it is for the advice from Archangel Michael, your inner guidance is real and trustworthy. Trust your intuition and your inner guidance in regards to the situation or this situation person coming in that could have been someone from your past okay it says here my prayer please help me clearly hear see feel and know the divine guidance that i have asked and pray for allow me to keep my ego out of the way so your wisdom can come streaming through me for my own benefit and for those around me wonderful message a new beginning a new start maybe even with someone you know from the past that's what i'm getting so a restart Right? Ace of Swords can mean a restart in a certain situation that is very passionate, okay? So this is your message for the month of November. I hope it resonated with you. Not a lot of people like to hear a restart from their past, but some people might like it. Some people may not, but hey, you know what? Such is life. Things go around in circle. People come back around and maybe someone is coming back around or you're going back around just to look at this person or the situation and you having passion for this per person or situation come back to you again. All right. Love and light, Leo. This is your message for the month of November. If you like, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Make sure to look at my Etsy shop, Abundantly Spiritual. Have a wonderful, blessed month of November. Thank you.